Hello everyone, I am Arpit Kumar Sharma and welcome back to Pebbly. So today, I am going to tell you when a new row is added in your Airtable database, how to send Discord messages automatically. Now, uh, suppose for example, you have a few people working in your company and you want them to work on different projects and they are all available in one separate Discord channel. So what you will do? You will create separate rows for them in a database with the title of the uh, you know work which you want to give them and you will automatically send those messages to Discord channel so that the per person who you know who is uh, the what should I say who is the responsible person to whom you are assigning that particular task will get the message on Discord channel automatically. Now what are we going to do here? First we are going to create a new record in Airtable. We will create rows and then that record will automatically be sent to the desired Discord channel as a message automatically. And to do this, we are going to use an integration and automation software service, Pabli Connect, which will help us connect Airtable and Discord together so that this workflow will work in an automation process. Now, if you want to learn how to do this, you have to come with me to the screen. And you can see now we are on our screen. So what we are going to do, we are going to go to pabbly.com slash connect. And as soon as we will do that, you can see we will be redirected to this beautiful website where you have two options. Either you can sign in or you can sign up. Now, Signing up is absolutely free and you will also get 100 free tasks from our side so that you can practice the workflows that we are teaching you and those 100 tasks will get a refresh every month. Okay, now I already have an account here. So I will just go for sign in. Now this is my account. I'll just go and log in. And now I'll go here to Pabli Connect and then I will click on access now. Now as soon as I will do that, you can see that I have this dashboard here where I have uh, hundreds of, uh, you know, workflows. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new workflow. So I'll just go for create workflow and here I will give it a name. So what we are going to do today, we are going to integrate Airtable to Discord. Okay. So Airtable to Discord is our title. I'll just go and create it. You can name it whatever you want to. Now, <clears throat> you have two windows here. First one is trigger. Second one is action. So what is trigger and what is action? So trigger window is the window where an event is happening at the start of the process. And action is the final event which is happening at the end of the process. Which means trigger is when this happens. So what is happening here? First, we are making an uh, you know, entry in our air table and what will be the action? The message will be sent to the discord channel. Okay. So here I will go for air table. I'll click this and what I'm doing, <coughs> I'm creating a new record. So I'll go here in a new record and I'll just connect it. <coughs> I'm sorry for that. So let me just delete it. And let me tell you how to add a new connection. Now, when you will get uh, go to add a new connection, it will ask you for a token key. Now, from where you will get this token key? So you will go here to your air table. Then you will go here in the account section. And as soon as you will click on the account section, you will see this is the API key. You will just click it, copy it and paste it in your Pabli Connect account. Just save this. And as soon as you will save this, you can see my Airtable has been successfully connected. Now it is showing me base content marketing pipeline. Now I have some base here in my Airtable. These are the bases. Okay. It is showing me this first one content marketing pipeline, but I want to work here in telegram group updates. Okay. I have made this one to show you, uh, uh, you know, an example of uh, a message sent to the discord channel. So I'm going to, you know, take this as an example. 
So as you can see, I have named this as Telegram Group Updates because I want the updates of my Telegram Group to be sent to my Discord channel. Okay. So for example, I am using this table by the name Telegram Group Updates, and you can use uh, according to yourself. Okay. Let me just change the name of this table. Table one will be Telegram Updates. Okay. or uh, the group name is telegram group updates the table name is telegram updates now what we are going to do we are going to go here and now from here we will choose telegram so telegram group updates is my uh, what should i say the base name and the table is telegram updates because i do not have any other table here i only have one table here and now it is asking me for the trigger field and now what is trigger field trigger field is the field which will let you connect your air table with your pebbly connect account so that the information in the air table is captured into the pebbly connect account okay now here you can see what you have to do to create a field these are the uh, what should i say these are the steps through which you can uh, create new field and we are going to use this and let me tell you one more thing if you will not create a field your trigger will not work properly so it is a mandatory you know uh, job to do so what we are going to do we are going to go back to telegram sorry not telegram <laughs> we are going to go back to air table telegram group, group updates and now here i am giving a project title which is pebbly connect okay description is it is a new automation and integration software service okay now now due date it is asking me for the due date due date which means <coughs> the job has to be done before this date okay so let me put uh, 10th february 2022 okay what's today today is 7th february great and now assign to so to which team member you want to assign this task to you can write his name here i am going to write here mukesh so i am assigning this task to mukesh and now the final part where this will come we have to create a field what you have to do is you have to go to plus and add new field so i am going to do that plus and this is add new field you can uh, give the field name telegram group field this is uh, this is the name i am giving it and now what is what it is saying it is saying that uh, select your date time format and create on uh, sorry uh, from drop down menu select file field type created time and then select your date time format click on create field button so what we are going to do we are going to go here and we will search for create time created time so created time and this is the created time you can see 7th february 2022 use the same time zone and create field now as soon as you will create field you will see here we do not have anything but now when we will refresh it it will automatically take this telegram group field which we just created here okay so i'll just go here save and send test request and as soon as i will do that you can see the response is here project title it is a new automation and integration software this is the due date the, uh, these are the names uh, to to pe of people whom i am assigning this task i have only assigned here uh, one pe uh, one person mukesh and uh, this is the created time now what are we going to do our point is that we have to send this to our discord channel so we will go for discord action event will be send channel message and we will connect our discord now how are you going to connect your discord channel so first you have to see that to which channel you have to send your message to like i am going here i have these channels here pt you know this btr htm bfob so what i am going to do is i am going to go here because this is pebbly team so i'll go here and here i have pebbly connect bit bucket bucket issues projects from air table pebbly members general so what i am going to do is this is my a uh, channel to which i am going to send my message so what i will do is here it is asking me for the webhook url so i'll go here i will go here then i will go to server settings after going to server settings 
I am going to go to integrations and here you can see I have nine webhooks. So what I can do is if I want a new webhook, I will just go for new webhook. And this is my new webhook. What I am going to do is I will just copy webhook URL or if this is, uh, you know, confusing you, let me delete these webhooks so that you do not get confused. Okay. So it will be easy for you to understand. Let me delete all. And while I am deleting this, I am, uh, you know, going to tell you one more thing that uh, whenever you are connecting your any app with Pebbly Connect, you need to have a look at your APIs or webhooks very carefully. It should be inserted at the correct part at the correct field. Now copy webhook URL. We have copied this webhook URL. We will go here and we will paste it. Okay. So this is the webhook. Sorry, I pasted it at wrong place. Here I should have pasted it. So <coughs> this is our webhook URL. Now message. So what message are you going to type here? Or uh, what message are you going to send to your channel? So what I'm going to do is I will write a message as well as I will use a technique which is called mapping. And mapping will let me take this data from here and it will let me map the data here. Okay. So hello everyone. We have got a new project. Okay. Now I will map the data here. Pebbly connect. We have got a new project Pebbly connect. description. Now I will again map the data. It is a new automation and integration software service. After that, what do I have due date? Due date. Now again, I will use mapping due date is 10th February 2022. <coughs> Assign to project has been assigned to and again I will use mapping where I will map Mukesh. Okay. So you can see this bot name. We do not have any bot name. So I will just put in Pabli here. <coughs> bot icon. I do not want any bot icon here. Text to speech is whenever a message is sent to the discord channel, the discord channel will uh, speak the text for you. So we do not want to enable that. If you want to do that, you can do that. Now, I will just click on save and send test request. And as, uh, as soon as I will do that, you can see the response is 204, which means the response is successful. And when I will go back to my discord channel, you can see we have a new message. Hello everyone. We have got a new project Pebbly connect description. It is a new automation and integration software service due date project has been assigned to Mukesh. Okay. Let us try this one more time. Pebbly form builder. It's a great service for creating beautiful forms with inbuilt templates. Okay. Due date is 12. Uh, let me say not 12th, 11th February 2022. And this task uh, I am assigning to Marcus. Okay. Now you can see <clears throat> an automatic, uh, uh, you know, field has been created here. I do not have to do that again. And as soon as I will save this, you will see when I will refresh this, a new message will be here in the discord channel. But, but, but let me tell you one thing. Airtable uses uh, a trigger which is called polling and because of that trigger, what will happen? The, you know, the information which we are putting here or the rows which we are creating here will be sent to the other application, which means Discord in this case in some time, you know, it can take uh, five seconds, it can take five minutes or it can even take half an hour. So you have to wait for the, you know, uh, Airtable to send the data. 
and it is an automation so you do not have to worry you do not have to panic it will automatically send the data to the other application as soon as possible and as soon as you will uh, you know refresh it after some time like uh, i am doing it but i did not get any message here but in some time i will get it so <coughs> let us wait for some time and let's see that uh, <coughs> what happens here and what message do we get here so i'll just give it some time okay and as you can see <coughs> i have a new message here hello everyone we have got a new project pebbly form builder description it's a great service for creating beautiful forms with inbuilt templates due date is this project has been assigned to marcus okay so this is a very beautiful automation and this is how you can connect your pebbly connect with your air table and then pebbly connect to your discord and this is how you can connect your air table and discord together so whenever there is a new record in air table an automatic message will be sent to your desired discord channel and now if you want to you know copy or should i say clone this beautiful workflow you will have to go to my description box and you can clone this workflow for your use into your account but for that you need to have your own account and for that you need to sign up so what are you waiting for go and sign up for free we are also giving you 100 free tasks every month hasta la vista so thanks a lot for watching our video i hope you understood everything now if you want any other events to edit in our module what you can do is you can mail us at admin at the rate pebbly.com if you have any queries regarding this software you can just ask your queries at this website at this link and if you want to check the prices you can visit here to this link and check the prices of the software now i just want to tell you that automation is a boon for us and it can change the future and i will you know suggest you to take this as quickly as possible which will ease your task save your time and save you a lot and lot of efforts thank you